when it comes to learning techniques, maybe this is more my speed. They say when um, developing a child, certainly in the early days, practical um, exercises and putting things together and taking them apart and putting them together again, <laughs> it's not just a fun game. It is a vital stage in your child's learning. And Nikki Bush, our creative parenting expert now, takes us through some of the ramifications of just that. Well, it's time to play some games. From construction toys to puzzle building to reading and writing, children need to be able to master the skill of putting together and taking apart. This morning, we chat to our creative parenting expert, Nikki Bush, about this important skill. Who would have thought that it's actually a skill? It actually has a very much more complicated name called yeah. analysis and synthesis. Oh. Okay, where you analyze the parts of something mm. and then you put them together to make a more complex whole. Just like with recipes. Okay. Okay, so I picked up Zola's recipe book here, and on in every recipe there's a list of ingredients, and then there's the method to put it all together again. Yeah. And this is what happens throughout life with a child. Mm. This is child development in action, where children are mastering little things, like for example, a baby learning to lift its head, uh -huh. and then learning to sit up, and then learning to crawl. Lots of little body movements then come together for them to do a big body movement like crawling. Yeah. But they learn these things almost separately and then they pull it all together. I it's love that. fascinating. It is. At what point do you start teaching a child to put to things together in a meaningful way, though? Okay, so when we're playing with children like with a bag of blocks, yeah. in the first two years, you will build the tower and the child will break it down. They're in yes. a deconstruction phase because they're learning how gravity works. They're learning how the world works. And only around 18 months to two and a half years, somewhere around there, will they start actually putting things purposefully on top of each other in a constructive way. Yeah. So what toys, because you've got some here, <laughs> what toys and games can a child actually use to start practicing these skills? So there are lots. And this is, they, they really are my favorite this is kinds the fun of part. games. <laughs> this is something quite new on the market called Bunchums. And just feel this. Bunchums. They're like sea urchin -y things that you ah! put together. So you Cute. could take this with a young child. I think this is a little doggy that's take been made. Part, and you together. could get a child in its very early um, stages of preschool to give you all the orange ones, find me all the blue ones, find me all the red ones. They could make lines, they could make circles, they can do all sorts of things. Fantastic. So, you know, when we relate this to something like reading and writing, little children scribble for the first few years and within their scribbles there are 20 lines that make up all the letters they're going to write eventually. So they're actually practicing all the parts of those letters. And those letters eventually become parts of words, the words become parts of sentences, sentences become parts of paragraphs, stories, etc. Wow. Nikki, you're going to use this throughout your life because At throughout 100%. life you can you continuously deconstructing things, putting it together, making sense of the world around you. Absolutely. Now there is just a basic set of cards. Yes. So once a child knows their numbers, you can get them to find you um, a whole series of twos or maybe a run that goes five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that has meaning because there's a sequence mm. to it. Mm. So all these disparate parts come together to make something that is really clever. I remember walking into my son's preschool once. I think they were a bunch of five-year-olds with plain old wooden building blocks. No adults in sight. These four little boys had made an aeroplane about that long and that wide all wow. by themselves. I mean, it was beautiful. Yeah. These big, big building blocks. And they'd taken these plain old things that meant nothing, but once they put them together, they meant something. Nikki, I am so happy that you're going to be joining us through the rest of the morning. And if you are interested in further developing your child as well, then stay tuned because we're going to be talking more about how to pull things apart, how to put things together in a meaningful way, and it's all about your child's development.